But as I've got older, as I've got older, I'm all right with it. I pay for contact lenses. That sorts the eye out. What I can't sort out is um, I've, I'm, I've had a bit of a midlife crisis about my hair. And again, you might be looking and going, well, Dave, your hair looks all right. But I can assure you guys, right, three seconds of a brisk wind outside, three seconds, that's all it takes. And I go from looking like this... And I don't have any control over it whatsoever. All right, I've got two kids. So what you've got to imagine is, right, at half past seven on any given morning, Monday to Friday, I can be found in a school playground <laughs> looking for kids. <laughs> and other parents just look at each other going, oh, the fuck is that over there? I don't know, guys, it got that bad about a month ago. This parent came up to me and he got really accusational and it freaked him out that much. He came up to me and he went, which child's yours then? <laughs> but I got real mad and angry. I was like, how fucking embarrassing is that? I was angry, I was embarrassed, but I panicked and I just went, I ain't decided yet. <laughs> And to this day, it's the best black eye I've ever received. No. But for all that, right, all my trials and tribulations and what I look like, I did manage to get married. Yay! Right? <laughs> but people like to tell me all the time I'm much more attractive than she is than me. Like, and I find that very insulting. I find it really horrible because she is like, she's not a supermodel, but in comparison to me, she probably is a little bit more attractive, right? But what I like to tell people is what she is in attraction. She more than makes up for him being a fucking idiot. <laughs> no, 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 no. The women usually turn on me at that point, but I'm going to tell you exactly why, right? I've been with her 10 years, right? And I have to sleep on the couch, right, more times than any of you guys ever will have to in your entire life for stupid fucking shit you shouldn't have to sleep on the couch for. <laughs> right? She's got rules that I don't understand. So you women, I need your help, right? Because I've got a stiff neck and I can't fucking do it anymore. <laughs> right? She buys things, right? She buys things that we're not allowed to use. <laughs> right? I've got cushions in my house I'm not allowed to sit on. <laughs> I've got candles I'm not allowed to fucking light. <laughs> right? And I don't know what's what, right? I, I, I sit on things, I light things, and I have to sleep on the couch for it. Right? I've got towel rail in my bathroom full of three towels that I'm not allowed to touch. <laughs> So when I'm getting a bath, right, I'm sat in the bath and I'm looking at these towels, right, kitten soft and direct soft thing going through my head. They must be fucking lovely to touch. But I've got to get out and scrub myself dry with a Magaluf 1995 towel. <laughs> it's like fucking sandpaper. And I'll tell you what, I'll be honest with you guys, because I'm 250 miles away from home and she's never going to know this, but when we have a massive argument, right, I go in that bathroom and I wipe my willy on that towel. <laughs> I can't live with it anymore. Like, you guys, you think, like, other comedians do jokes. I don't. I'll travel 150 miles to slack the cow off because she's mental. <laughs> and I'm saying to her, I'm saying to her, I can't do it anymore, babes. I've got, like, what's going on with you? I said, we're going to have to mortgage at this rate two houses, right? One that we live in and another we can just show every bastard around because I can't get to grips with it. I can't, right? And I, I'm honest, I'm going to say this, right? I bet I'm the only guy in this room. I'm the only guy in this room, right, that has, can make a sandwich and have a genuine panic attack. <laughs> that shouldn't happen, should it? Because she's got rules for sandwiches. And I'll tell you why, right? And it's what goes in them, right? Do you know, like sauces and pickles and stuff like that, right? Some go in the fridge and some go in the cupboard. And I don't know which one's fucking which! <laughs> right, so I come in making a sandwich and at the end of it, right, I've got this jar of pickles and at the end of it, I'm like, I'll just go, oh, shit. <laughs> Is it the cupboard or the fridge or the cupboard? Or the... I don't know. And I have to guess. I'll just go, right, it's the cupboard. And I go back and sit and eat the sandwich. And while I'm eating the sandwich, I've got this little voice in my head going, Sure, it's not the fridge. Sure, it's not the fridge. I don't know! <laughs> and then I go to work and forget about it. I go to work, I forget about it, right? And on my break at work, I get a three-page text message that says, That's the third jar of pickles I've thrown away this month. <laughs> Don't bother coming to fucking bed tonight. <laughs> and I have to text their back going, You're letting a jar of pickles ruin your week, you fucking mad cow! 
And that's just straight up. That is absolutely straight. I've got a friend, and I've had to get in touch and say, but do you know the other week, actually, tell you this. The other week, she had a go at me for using hair shampoo. <laughs> hair shampoo, I'm using it. She goes, that's my shampoo. I'm like, yours? I said, we're married. It's our shampoo. Apparently not, right? I've got the one pound shit that burns your scalp in the bottom drawer. <laughs> this hairstyle is no accident. I washed myself, right? I washed myself with that shampoo three times in one week once, right? And you know what happened? Someone sent me a Get Well Soon card. <laughs> and I'm going to leave on this. I'm going to leave it on this, right? Because I've had enough and I talked to my friends and I'm saying to my friend, Bob, Bob, have you ever had to sleep on the couch, mate? And he goes, yeah, do it all the time. Why? And I go, what do you have to sleep on the couch for? And he goes, well, this one time I went out on Friday and I didn't come back while Monday. That's a bit extreme, Bob. I'll put you on the fucking couch for that. And then he goes, why? What do you do? And I go, no, it don't matter no, mate. It don't matter. Because <laughs> I have to say something ridiculous like, this one time, Bob, I put a white sock in a dark wash basket, mate. <laughs> So, and that's my life, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to leave it there. (laughs) 